so shocking as Fulanese finally decide to break up and leave Nigeria. It should not be a shock. It should be a thing of joy. See, right from the uh, right from ages, that was uh, during the war. The Fulanese has always been the one tormenting other regions. Maybe you don't know. Have you ever confronted an Aosa man and asked him what is their relationship with the uh, with, with so-called Fulanese and hear what he's going to tell you? Don't you know that the houses that we know today are not in any good time and they don't even want to be in good time with the Fulanese? They don't want to experience them. They don't want to see them. They don't want to set their eyes on them. They don't. Because to them, the Fulanese has really dealt with them. The Aousas are the first people that the Fulanese started dealing with. They came over to the northern state took over towns belonging to the houses. They conquered the houses. While struggling to come over to places like, uh, like Benue, Bauchi, Plateau, they were disappointed. They were disappointed by the war, the people, of Benue Plateau and and uh, 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 Plateau and Taraba gave to them, so they, they turned their back, and that is why you see that they terrorize Benue the more. You see that, so they, the, the the news that they are that they have decided. To leave, it should be a very welcomed development. They, they, see, they themselves have seen it. They have seen it that this is this is this is not 1967. Imagine them kind of said it. This is modern age where modern things are now introduced. You understand? So they should be able to know that nobody is a fool and nobody they can be able to 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 suppress anymore enough is enough enough is enough so i i i say it's a welcome development it should be a thing of celebration and not a thing to worry because they have really dealt with the people enough. So let the people rejoice over their living. Yeah. Let me rejoice over their living. Okay, let's hear what they are they, they are here to say. Full and eight people ready for breakup of Nigeria. As Miet Anla, the national secretary of Miet Anla Kato Hall. Ahazan Saleh says the Fulani ethnic group is more prepared for division of Nigerian than any other ethnic nationality. Amid the insecurity and tension caused by clashes between farmers and elders in some parts of Nigeria, Southern governors had recently banned open cattle grazing in the entire 17 southern states of the country. Speaking to journalists, Saleh said Fulani elders are not the problem facing the country. He added that the Fulani ethnic group is ready for division of the country. He said, Headers are insignificant when it comes to problems of this country. Are they the ones 
looting the treasury? What damages are they causing to the ex-country compared to the criminals' activities of Yahoo Boys, internet fraudsters, kidnappers, political looters, bandits in powers, vagabonds in powers like Governor Sama Autumn? Do you think if there is no oil money, all these things will be happening? Today, we are ready. Let them divide the country. Let them not wait till tomorrow. We are better prepared than any ethnic nationality. So, we are ready. Let them divide the country. Let us die. We that don't have the oil. <laughs> They are tired. They are tired. They are tired. They are tired. That's good. That's good. Well, I will say that the country is gradually dividing itself. Yes, it's gradually dividing itself now. You see, Mazinam cannot make one statement one certain time, but we underrated him. He said, Biafran is no longer in a hurry to divide. That when it will divide, you, when it's time, that you people will be the one to call for the division. And that is what is happening now. That's what is happening now. Can't you see now? They are not the one begging for division. They are the one begging for division. They are, they are of no use anymore. And why they, 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 they will call for division is because there is nothing to gain anymore. Everywhere has been banned. They, they, they have been banned from, 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 from open grazing. So how can they now, um, can they now uh, 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 feed and take care of their cows? So they have no choice. The whole southeast has banned them from open grazing. You see that? So that is why. There is no gain anymore. The opportunity to storm people's farm and graze on people's crops is no longer there. The security force and agents are out for them if detect any one of them. So, <laughs> so they are tired. Well, um, I will say without any missing words that it is a welcome development. We don't need to argue much about this. This is something that we should, should look at and say, yes, it should come fast. What do you think? Yeah, this is how I feel. Right. My dear viewers, let me hear from you anyway and know what you have to say about this. If you're new, don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.